Understanding the phrase outfit with gear in English. Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to explore the phrase outfit with gear. This phrase is commonly used in English, but it can be a bit confusing for those who are learning the language. We'll break it down, look at its meaning, and see how it's used in different contexts. So, let's get started. The phrase, outfit with gear, is made up of two parts, outfit and gear. Outfit typically means to provide with or dress in clothes. In this context, however, it means to equip or supply with necessary items. Gear, on the other hand, refers to equipment or tools needed for a specific purpose. Therefore, when we say outfit with gear, we mean to provide someone or something with the necessary equipment for a particular activity or purpose. 1. Outdoor activities. Before we go hiking, we need to outfit everyone with the right gear, like boots and backpacks. 2. Professional settings. The new firefighters were outfitted with gear, including helmets and protective suits. 3. Technology. To complete this project, we must outfit our lab with the latest tech gear. These examples show how the phrase can be used in various situations, emphasizing the versatility of its application. Not just clothing. Remember, outfit with gear doesn't just refer to clothing. It's about providing all the necessary equipment. Context matters. The meaning of gear can change depending on the context. In sports, it might mean protective wear, while in technology, it refers to gadgets and devices. Visual association. Think of a scenario where someone is being provided with tools or equipment. This visual can help you remember the phrase's meaning. Practice in sentences. Try using the phrase in different sentences or contexts to get comfortable with its usage. We hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, outfit with gear. Remember, it's all about equipping someone with the necessary tools or equipment for a particular purpose. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be using this phrase like a native speaker. Thank you for watching. And we look forward to seeing you in our next video.